this shit. What up, nigga? Drop this shit. What up, nigga? Fuck your head, man. Angie Fan Movement is the movement to move with. Move with. You are on TV for life. You already know what it is. Know what it is. But Danny, doesn't that explain why dudes take an angles then? Take what? Those mm. guys are angle battles. They're anglers. Doesn't that explain why they take angles? Because does that explain up why angles? they take angles? No, it yeah. doesn't explain why they take angles. I'm just well, that's that just the type of rapper people. they are. No, no, they're not. No, they're not gonna out rap me. But so, me out rapping them. But here's the thing, though. Me <clears> out rapping <throat> them doesn't win me the battle. Exactly, but when you said jo you didn't like that Joe and I took the angle, you thought you were surprised. No, but I, what I'm saying no, is I didn't people, like it. Well, exactly. I'm not but what saying, I'm saying I beat Joe and I because he took an angle. I didn't say that. I okay. just thought lyrically and content wise, I was better than Joe and I. He had some okay, crazy shit. Mind. He was doing a past, present, past, present, future theme he had going on. I, it was like really yeah. intricate in debt, but it really wasn't hitting like that. You know what I'm saying? Okay, I didn't think okay, he, okay. Did, he didn't take. And then the only time he took a, a direct approach was when he came with the angle. You know what I'm saying? Like, I hit him with all kind of shit. But, but back to Mook and Hollow, those yeah. guys are that type of writer because that's who they are. I talked to Hollow about this, and I, and I said, you know, you're one of the guys who really don't focus so much on the pin aspect of it. And he was like, you know what? I don't. I focus on trying to do trying to do everything, and when a nigga hitting you with everything, and you only got one weapon, you're going to lose every time. You're going to lose. Yeah, you know? I agree with that. So if you if you if you, if you got if you got a, a good jab, but this nigga got a jab, a hook, a cross, uppercut, defense, an overhand right, that jab not going to beat him. <laughs> so this is this is I mean Hollow and Mook are those type of niggas. So you gonna have to do everything, even things you haven't done before, to beat but, these guys. But Danny, it mm -hmm. comes down to either you're using uh -huh. personals or you're not using personals. And with Hollow, think back to that Pat State battle or any battle he's had lately. Whether he's joking, whether he's freestyling, whether whatever he's doing, it uh, still comes back to the angle, no matter what. That's his form of writing. He, he, exactly. That's his gift. That's what he does. But when he says he does everything, he does everything with the purpose of using an angle is what I'm saying. Him and Mook. Exactly. Him and Mook. They have a point to what they're saying. They have a point. And, and the, the, the nucleus of their round is the angle. Whatever angle they choose to take on you, that's the nucleus. Then they just build around it. They build around it. They they have a foundation. The foundation is, let me see, um, this nigga sell his clothes. Let's just say Pat, for example, when he's writing for uh, Hollow. It's like, okay, he said niggas be using the, the culture and, you know, charging all this money. So, but he does the same thing. So I'm going to take, that's my angle. That's the foundation of my third round. This is Pat Stay okay. speaking in the, in the battle. He's like, okay, so I'm going to hit him. And make him look like a hypocrite, because he said this is what Luggage does. But he's doing it. Mm -hmm. So let me point this out to the fans. And that was Pat Stay's nucleus of his third mm -hmm. round, and he built around mm -hmm. that. And that's why I felt like he he got that third round. Because, you know what I'm saying, it wasn't no super lyrical shit. It was just like facts or what. I don't know if it's facts or not, but that's he made it seem factual. He made it believable. And if he was in the building... You felt what he was talking about. So, um, then, uh, Pat, I mean, Hollow and Mook are guys who are, they're going to get a foundation on you first. They don't just start writing bars. They brainstorm. They said, let me see what I could talk about on this nigga. Then they'll have PowerPoints. Like, okay, I'm going to talk about this, 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 and this. Now I'm going to build around these points. And that's why it's so like like punchline. Oh man, let me talk about. Let me get to punchline real quick. <laughs> let me let me tell the yeah. fans if they listen. Listen, there's this thing now, and to me it's new. But there's this thing or called random punchlines. Random punchlines, right? All right, let me tell you guys something. For the most part. There really is no such thing as random 
punchlines. Because if that's the case, all punchlines would be random. For example, uh, two guys who, who don't know each other. Like I said, back you know, back we going back to the back to the nineties. Niggas don't know each other. Ain't no angles. You just gotta have better bars. So uh-huh. your round had to be better than his round. Y'all don't know each other. This is just bars. It's just bars. This is what they call random bars in this era. It's just random bars. So let me ask you guys about Conceit and B Magic and other guys that you guys consider punchers. What is structured punchlines? These guys don't have structured punchlines. All punches are punches. It's not it, like if a nigga don't flip your name in the bar, that doesn't make it a random bar. It's just a punchline. There is no like people are trying to like separate. There is no such thing as randomness. But you know what I mean? Like there. I can see what people are oh, saying. On, like on. if it's not direct, right? We mm-hmm. still supposed to be creative. We're still supposed to out rap the next man. You're supposed to be more creative. So if you're creating out of thin air, then yes, I guess that would be what they call random bars because it don't really go to any nigger. It could like you could. There's bars you could rap to five different niggers, and it hits like the same couple, way like, because because it don't have the nigger name in it. You know like what I'm saying? Kaboom, back, like, like Kaboom. Kaboom used to be like punchline heavy. You mean like Kaboom where it's just punches coming. Right, it's just punches. It's just punches. And that's how we yeah. used to battle. You know what I'm saying? But they call that random. But it's like, my nigga, if I'm saying this shit to you, this is for you. If I'm in front of you saying this, this is for you. It's not random. Because I'm not going to say this to you and then go recycle it and say it to three other niggas. This is all for you. And it's, well, nah, it's Danny, flesh creating nah, but material Danny, out the air. But Danny, but back in the day, niggas used to do that. I mean, look at Cassidy. Cassidy got mad. Right. Fucking, fucking, so uh, that's what I'm saying. So you would call that random? That's random bars, right? Okay, Cassidy versus Freeway. All right, all right. That shit example. that Cassidy niggas had. Say mixed, all right, but, but look, Danny, niggas say mixed. <laughs> Rick say bars, bars random bar. That it's pretty much the same thing, right? Same shit. Right. Mm-hmm. But at the end of the day, if if he said that to you, then that's that's what it was. So, so that's a question. Cassie, that's a case. Why do, but hold on, Danny. I've heard you say you out your own mouth that Rex uses mixtape bars before you battled him. So what's a mixtape bar then? If he's saying it to the person in front of him, what's the difference? No, that's what I'm saying. If if you already said some shit on wax or you said it in another battle, you can't say it again. You can't do that. Okay. That's, oh, that's, that's that. foul. That's, 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 that's crazy. With. Right, that's, it's crazy. You can't do that. Not in this era. We used to do that. When Battle okay, Rap question. first was getting popping, we used to do that. We used to take five rap verses that we already knew in our head, and we would go to this block and battle this nigga with them bars. And then we'll go to the next block and battle a whole other nigga we didn't know with those same bars because nobody had heard these bars. This was prior to the camera camera uh, age. So the yeah. bars weren't being recorded. So to that nigga, you never, he never heard them. The crowd never heard those before. But now in this day, you can't say the same verse again. Or even you can't even say one line again. Somebody, these internet niggas is going to find that shit, man. They ain't gonna mm-hmm. find it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, random bars, it's like, all right, what is Conceited doing when he's battling? Is that, like, without the name flips and the slow it downs and the personals that he throws in his shit, the rest of his material is just bars. Be magic. Okay. It's just bars. If anything mm-hmm. that ain't. Anything that ain't, like, directly related to your opponent, that's what people call random bars. But at the end of the day, you – so what Mm -hmm. y'all saying is we can't do that no more. Y'all saying we just can't have bars that can just be said to a nigga? Like, now everything has to be a personal? Who said that? No, that's what that's what fans are trying to make. They'll, They'll, like, they'll try to discredit a nigga who uses those type of bars and be like, oh, well, 
all he doing is just random bars, so I don't really fuck with that. That's just random shit. But it's like, my nigga, so we're, we're, we're taking away a key component of battle rapping by saying that. Now we're saying niggas ain't allowed to just say bars that are just bar that are just dope. It's just dope shit. It don't got your name in it. If I'm battling angry fan and I and I don't say caps or do a name flip on caps or do a name flip on angry or fan or none of that and I just say a bar to you, you're telling me I'm not allowed to do that. I have to say your name in a bar. That's whack. That's taking away the creativity. That's true. That's true. That is true. And I was just going. I was going I, 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 so I'm just saying. To, my uh, point was, there's just no such thing as random shit. Like if if I'm saying it to you, then this is part of my verse to you. And it's for you. And it's for you. If I go and say it to another nigga, then that's when y'all jump on my head and kill me for it. Okay. Kill me when you catch me saying the same shit twice to two different niggas. But if I'm saying this to this man. And that's the only time I ever heard it. Then that was for him. Yes, there okay. are bars that we all have. Listen, every battler has bars that can go to any nigga. So if I got three opponents coming up, right? Like most of the times, I, I always have like multiple multiple opponents coming up. So when I'm writing, I'll have a bar, and it and it's just a dope bar, right? Let's just say I got let's just say I got Steams, and then I got Arsenal after Steams, right? And I come up with a crazy bar. Now, my thing is, all right, this really don't apply to neither one of them niggas. I just have to pick who I want to say this to now. Like, should I say this to the Steam, or should I just save it and say this to Arsenal? It don't got Steam or Arsenal name in it. It's just a dope punchline. And it's going to be dope regardless who I say it to. Now I'm just got to throw it at one of these niggas. See what I'm saying? Like, okay. we all have those type of bars. So, you can't, niggas can't, like, take that away from you say, and just try to put this stigma on it, like, oh, this is random bars. Like, no, it's just, uh, it's bar. Bars are random, period, first of all. Hmm. Okay. All right, all right. So, JC, is that, ran- that that's, is that what we call random bars, I would think? What? Excuse me? JC style. JC has crazy punches. So is that, is that random though? It's dope JC has creative. A style that can be used to anybody. Cra- yeah, it's super creative, like, but not direct. Right. 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 They, they'll say that newborn. about daylight. Same they'll say that newborn. about newborn. Daylight, daylight. Daylight. Newborn. Like me. They'll say that about me. It's like when a nigga just creative and there. you can just create bars. You can just create punches. Then it's like that's a problem. Like that's wrong. But you know what though? Like, but no. Danny, is that? But Danny, is that not the same as Rex and Rex with his with his street talk or T Top with his drug talk? Is that not not the same? Right. That's what I'm it's saying. Just not like punching, it, 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 but it's the same. Right. Because the drug shit T Top talk about, he can say that to a lot of niggas. Rex can talk that street shit and use a lot of them same bars to a lot of different niggas. So, but we don't, but we don't, we don't label it as, oh, that's just random street talk or that's just random drug talk. But they'll do it when a nigga's coming out with creative punchlines and, and, and similes and metaphors. They'll say those are random bars. So that don't beat that real shit that Rex is talking. But the same thing Rex is doing, the, the uh, writer is doing. Just coming up with dope shit. And that was pretty much the nucleus of battle rap in itself. Was just coming up with some dope shit to say. Yo, now Danny, we're I in the age mind... of personals and angles. Hey, yo, I wouldn't mind seeing... Yeah, but Danny, it's hard, though, because you got so many personals against you that for you, I will understand you saying that. You see what I'm trying to say? Like, like let's say... Let me think. Who, who, who doesn't have oh, a lot of energy? Let's do that. Really... Here's, here's, here's something that has to stop. Okay. I feel like this. If a nigga come up with an angle, okay, let's just take Bill Collector. Show out. Uh, yeah, well, show out. Okay, punched him, not on his face, blah, blah, blah. 
So, wh- I don't know who was the first nigga that said that to Bill Collector, but I think once somebody says it, or maybe even the first two people that say it, then it should be dead. It shouldn't I'm a, I'm a dumb- no more. Hey, yo, I think we need I to always, start deducting always. from a lack of creativity. Hey, yo, I always put the exact opposite about that. I, I, I don't feel like it's a race. You shouldn't have to race to say it. I'm going to tell you why. The whole, as a matter of fact, you are my example now. You and Rex, you first battled, uh, who was the first person to bring that shit up? What was his name again? The, uh, the dark skinned dude. I can't think of that. Uh, real talk. You talking about the, the, real talk. Real talk. Real talk. He was the first one to do it. Real talk did not even use it the way it should have been used on you. All right. Don't matter. He said like one line, and it was like, uh, that don't count. No. No, 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 no. It, it, it wasn't one line because he, he, his anger was similar to Chiller's. It was like, this is Man, what you could do with the money. Danny, he was the first person to battle you. All right, he should have yeah. went stupid on you, and he did. That's the reason why right, I don't... Right, but real talk, not an angle, he's not an angle battler. Then don't he touch tried to bar, he tried to go bar Danny, for bar Danny. with me, and he just threw that in his third round. But and he, Danny, later he told Danny. me he just freestyled that. I don't even care about none of that. That's even worse. Danny, you just said the first one or two people after it said it should be over with. If he's not going to take that angle series, don't touch that shit. If, we, if I'm going by your logic and your rules, I don't even want him touching that shit. Because now that's okay. the first person. Okay. But you know when saying? somebody use right, does it. Use it. Uh, right, that's listen. If somebody brings up a fresh angle on somebody, and it's not, okay, he brought it up, but it wasn't dope. Okay, let's just say real talk for versus me, and he brought up the Rex thing. But Chilla did it like seven battles later, but he did it better and did it fire. So we have exactly. to give Chilla, listen, we have to give Chilla his credit for the writing and the creativity and the way he came about that angle. But we can't give Chilla credit for coming up with the angle or give him credit for yeah. uh, using a, that's like not a fresh angle. And See, I don't know say, how I feel uh, about that because Danny, That's not battle things, though. No, listen, real that. shit. Let me ask you this. Nah, this is, nah. I mean, let me ask you this. I battle Steens <laughs> next, right? Let's say Steens battle me, and he comes with a Rex angle, the baby mama, uh, you got 10 kids, um, Adi Boom Surf, and those are his, those are his three rounds. Let's say he does it dope, though. He does it dope, but those are his three rounds. I mean, aren't wouldn't the fans be tired of, like, every time somebody battled Danny, I expect to hear this? Or, I mean, or, or should would, it? But look, but Danny, I'm looking at JC. It's like, once these niggas jump from that dance angle, let's be serious, bro. They never let it go. k Sean danced on them. Young L danced on him. I mean, bro, ever since it came out, everyone had a JC dance angle. Everyone had one. Hey, but that's whack. Everybody except Danny Myers. Because Danny Danny said, I don't need that. I'm an old school nigga who who can approach this and come up with some new shit just for you, and I'm not going to say what everybody been saying. Because I could have did a dance angle. I could have did it retarded. I could have did it really dope. Very creative. I could have done all kind of shit with a dance angle. But to me, as a writer, that doesn't, that's not, that's not originality, though. I mean, it's okay. still original because okay. I still got to come up with a fresh way to do it. The last 20 niggas that did it. But I'm not doing nothing new, though. That's, How that's you all I'm saying. Ever. Ever. How you feel about it, ever? I mean, I'm in a, I'm in a, I'm going to mix because it's like, if it's, all right, so basically what you're saying is, all right, if I know right now that something happened yesterday with Danny Myers, then that mm-hmm. means I need to call your manager right fucking now or tomorrow so I could be the first fucking one to battle you and use this angle. That's and I don't cool. think niggas is looking at shit like that. That's cool. I'm not mad at that. That's dope, but I'm going to be mad if Angry Fan does it first, then I battle Ever and Ever does it, then I battle Wing and Wing does it. And they all do it their own way, but it's the same shit. 
That's what I'm mad at. That's all I'm saying. These niggas is lazy. Niggas is not creative. Redundant. They're not coming up with their own shit. I get what Danny is saying. It can be redundant. After now, I, I get what Cass is saying, but I get what he is saying. After five years later, and we're still using the same <laughs> angle, and that is that is redundant. I'm sorry, I, and especially with the Man. dance angle, like I don't want to hear that shit no more. However, all right, but when, yeah, I, I, but when you said five it, huh? years, you said five I, years, man. Okay, the, the, I know. What, what, caps, caps. Okay. Real talk, battle me January 2015. He was the first one to do the wreck shit. I just uh-huh. battled John I May of 2016. So this is a year and five months later. Niggas is still talking about the same. But I mean, shit so that means Danny John I can't. But my nigga, that means John I can't talk about it at all. Even if he feels deep down, niggas are do able to better. write whatever they want to write. There's no restriction on. Uh, there's no rules on writing. No, you can write what you want to write. I'm just but saying. See, Danny, see, I'm gonna you would have expected him to do something different. Danny. I, yeah, I was expecting him to come with something. With, I, and, and he did. Don't get me wrong. He did come with new shit and dope bars that nobody ever said to me. Don't get me wrong. But for him to have to resort to using those angles in the middle of all the, the original shit, it, it just showed me, okay, you just ran out of shit to say. Or you just want to know. touch on it, but just do it, do it your way of doing it. You just Yo, want I'm to be do real your stand. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. Like Danny, my, hey, you, everybody's gonna have different look, feelings. Look, Danny, look, Danny, look. Yo, look, Danny, look, look, look. If I know next Friday I'm about to battle, or next month I'm about to battle Danny Myers, you mean mm-hmm. to fucking tell me I can't talk about you having ten kids? I can't talk about you paying 12K and Rex making you wait for a whole year, then looking you in your face okay. and saying, I need you wait. I can't talk, now, about, now I can't talk about none of that. None no, of no, that. Let, you this, didn't tell this. me. I'm First of all, you, like, you don't got no type of fucking, no blemishes in your, in, on you, period. Because other niggas said it first. I don't know about that, man. I got to say okay. something. This now, is this is when you set yourself up. This, I, that, and that's I, dangerous. Let me tell you something. And here's something for all battle rappers no, or anybody who's trying to be a battle to, to, to listen to this. When you are in the process of writing, just know that your opponent can counter write you. Now, what I mean mm-hmm. is, if, if like you just said, you know you battling me next, right? So Cap said he going to do a, I'm going to talk about the red shit. Fuck what Danny talking about. I'm going to talk about the baby mamas. <laughs> So me, that's on you. Though. Was, that's this on is what you. I'm thinking. There's no right, but this is what I'm thinking in my writing for you. Okay, this nigga probably gonna bring up the wreck shit. Right. He probably gonna bring up the baby mom because because they all do it. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna have some pre buttles written or backup bars in case he brings that up. I'm gonna rebuttal him and make him look fucking stupid. I'm but going to have something for that. That's called counter writing. Now, but I can, Danny, I can have all, something Danny. in preparation for you saying that. You're setting but yourself Danny, up when you, you take though. that. But that's on, but that's on you no, to have it, that. You don't got right, that. Right, right. Well. That's on you. Right, that's true, right? But I, I be having these for these niggas, but some situations I'm like, nah, it's not even worth me using. But in the chiller battle, in the chiller battle, his third round, he brought up the Rex situation. I counter wrote, and I said, I'm sure he's going to mention it. So that's when I brought up the 12K, fuck the 12K, nigga, I see paper, Keanu Reeves hit my phone because he heard I was the key maker. I knew he was going to say that, so I had a bar waiting in case he said yeah, you- Okay. You know what? I'm when, I battle, with you. I'm when I battle Charlie Clips. Uh-huh. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Now, I was going to say, I just thought about it. I'm not, I'm not even trying to be funny. But you and Rex, that shit was damn near monumental in battle rap. Like, if a nigga brings that shit up on you and really does that his own kind of motherfucking way, 
I don't know if I can get crazy. It hits every head. time. Listen, that the Rex angle hits every time when somebody that's, bring that's it up. That's what saying. Young Ill was a crackhead. If they can keep doing, oh, well, all right, no, man, let me not say that. Oh man, but, okay, no, I, I, listen, I, all right, not it's like almost that, like that's, real that's shit. Like, let, let me just say this. Let me let uh, me just say it. it's almost like a it's almost like a cheat move. It's almost like a cheat move because you yeah. know you're going to get some reaction out of the crowd if you bring up a certain thing on a certain nigga. So it's, it's like dope. you it's automatically dope. gonna get black. some cheers. No, no, it like even if it's just mediocre, niggas is gonna still react because you brought it or they're gonna laugh at it. Like ah, oh, ha, ha. like that's whack. Cheat move. It's and it's for niggas who are not really creative who who can say I don't need to say that shit. That's uh, what I'm saying. I'm not saying it's it's bad for. I'm just saying as a writer, I I choose not to really take angles that have already been said to my part. I just don't do it. I'm not saying niggas that do it are whack. I'm just saying they are lazy. And but you know what, though, way. Danny? But but you more of a bar for bar type nigga anyway, so that's your character. Everybody's not a bar for bar type that little. Facts? But like when, right but, now, but I'm going to tell you right now. Okay, look, look, Danny, I'm going to tell you right now. Build Danny, your own you, angle. Make it, create an angle for Danny Myers. Creator. I'm gonna tell you right, yo, I'm gonna tell you right now, as many times as niggas had said that angle on you, me myself personally, I feel like if Sway I don't know what Sway was really thinking when he battled doing shit. I feel like if he well, he did have a good angle all him shit. I feel like if he sat down and really you know, Sway was an angle master damn man. Right. If, right. I, I really I really expected this nigga to like try to really break this down to the to a whole nother level. I wouldn't have been mad if he did it the way he does it. Because he breaks niggas down, but he didn't know. That's what I said. Like, it really depends That's true. on who was saying it. If you bound the regular smoke Joe that nobody care about, and he brings it up, it's not fair to a nigga who can really get crazy with that shit to say, oh, well, let me not talk about it because this nigga brought it up. Even though nobody gives a fuck about it. You know what I'm saying? That's true. Let me ask you this. If I were to battle someone like Mukrahalo or Real Deal, these are angle masters, right? Okay. Uh, how how much percentage are you sure that uh, Hollow would bring up any of those things already that been said? How, like, what's the percentage that he would bring it up? He's going to bring up the Rex thing or the Bay Mama shit. I mean, Yo, B-Dot uh, already done it. I thought B-Dot did it the best, so... Even even if uh, Hollow was to do it better, it would just be a rehashing of what B Dot said, and that's to me not really original. It could probably still win out on battle, but it don't win no. To me, it's just like, uh, all right, I thought you were gonna have some new shit to say. What's the percentage you think Hollow would say that? Damn man, see that's I guess that's the kind of the problem that I'm going with right there is that when you're like, eh, I thought you had something to say, but it's just like you're the person. The angle is being used against, so of course you're gonna know. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, of course you're gonna say that. Like now, you know what you know. Not even just that. I be I be with a lot of people who like their names ain't even popping yet. You know what I'm saying? I don't hear some shit from like maybe a semi-known baller, and I'll be like, oh shit, nigga, but man, I heard this like five times. Like nigga, I didn't see them other five times. You know what I'm saying? Like, and it, it couldn't have been that crazy if I didn't hear about it either. So right. I, I don't know, man. I, I, I get you. I get you on that. I get mm-hmm. you on that, um, but okay, I mean, well, like wife, even if you didn't see it, crazy. somebody could bring it to your attention. You know how these fans are. They're like, yo, you cat. Mm-hmm. Now, I, I was going to bring up Lux and Hollow, right? Lux Battle Hollow. And right. everybody, the, the whole stand-up niggas don't lean. Do you know how many fucking times niggas came at Hollow about drinking? Do you know how many times niggas came at Hollow? Yeah, even even shit. even fucking Pat Stay brought it up. You know what I'm saying? Even in his last battle, Pat Stay just brought up the the whole winning shit. I, I I get it. I understand it. I'm saying if I were to battle Hollow, I wouldn't bring up that. I wouldn't even bring it up. Lux did it. You know what I mean? Like he already did it. Put it like this. Same thing happened with uh okay, Clips battle Rex. 
and Rex had the angle about Cliff's daddy being a snitch in that uh, in his third round. And then Lux has the same exact angle in his third round for Clips, except he did it a little more, a little better. Right? Mm. To me, I'm like, uh-huh. um, I don't really, I, and I, I, listen, I'm a big Lux fan, but I was like, damn. Like, damn, like, you you really took Rex's angle. You you just revamped it, but it's still, like, Rex was the first one to say that shit. So Rex is credited with that. You you took oh, it, you my did God, it so way, you did it. I didn't like it. I didn't like it, because I feel yeah. like, damn, as a writer, Lux, you're, you're way more creative. You don't even need that angle for him. You don't. Yeah, I swear but you to took somebody else's shit anyway. Day. You took somebody's shit. At the end of the day, I, it's, it's, it's stealing. Let's just call it what it is. At you the end of the fucking day. At, uh, whoever, hold on. Listen, yes, nigga, yes. It's stealing if somebody angle. says it. No, okay. But if, oh, man. If a nigga say it first, he said it. Y'all, the rest of y'all niggas, leave it alone. Leave it alone. You might can bring it up. You might even just mention it in a bar. But to have a whole... Um, 8, 12, 16, 20 bars of it for your round? No. Let's not, let's stop doing that. Let's, let's come up with our own shit. Make, like, come up with some news. Say something else that we might not know. Dig deeper. If the public information is out there and we know that about so-and-so, now you need to dig deeper and go call his cousin that don't fuck with him no more. Get, get to his cousin. Damn, you might man. have to pay him. Like, let, let, let me give you 300 for some info on this nigga that nobody know. That's that's what these niggas should be doing. If y'all want to take the angle route, at least be creative with it. Come up with some new shit. Don't, don't steal another nigga shit. Okay, he said that to him. Okay, I'm going to say the same thing, but I'm going to just say it this way. No. No. Mm. That's whack to me. Even, even we, don't, the, we didn't do I that. We didn't come from that. We didn't come from that. I'm just saying, the, the, the niggas that I came up with, we that wasn't even condoned. Like you couldn't it was almost like biting in a way. And biting biting and a nigga writing for you was the two even even coming to battles with written rounds, right? During the freestyle era. That was like you was damn near abolished. Everybody freestyling, everybody in the cipher, everybody like back and forth rapping about what this nigga's shoes look like. And then you come with a written and and, and, and pass it off as a freestyle. That was whack. Biting a nigga bars was super whack. Now what niggas is doing is they're biting angles. So they, they went from biting bars because that's more that's more blatant. That's more obvious. Now when niggas is just biting old niggas angles. That is the same thing. It's it's a uh-huh. it's a crime, but it's accept it's an accepted crime now, you know, like in the unwritten rules of battle rap. Niggas can take other niggas' angles and just revamp it and get credit for it. No. Stop the shit. Stop this shit. Who the fuck you had, man? Gangy fan movement is the movement to move with.